Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Game Passes in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First things first, I'm going to create a new Game Pass by going to Game Settings, and we're going to publish this game first of all. So, do that, we're going to save this as Game Pass, and I'm just going to save it. And then, now we need to go to... Uh, first of all, go here, and we're going to go to Enable Studio Access to API Services. And then what we're going to do is create a script in Service Script Service. And here is just going to be called Game Pass Manage. Alright. And now what we're going to do is create a like system for it. So do local Game Pass ID is equal to your ID. So do that uh, to get an ID you're going to need to make a game pass so here's how you do that so go to your game on the Roblox website and press add pass and now we're going to get the image so I'm just going to pick this one because it's just something that's quick and this will be called like I don't know money game pass or actually we'll do something that makes you big so to do that I'm just gonna er, actually to make it simple extra health so extra health game pass and then the description is give your character more health than normal all right and preview and then verify upload and now we can just right click and copy game pass id but if you don't have this plugin called btr roblox you can also just open it up and copy these numbers up here and then go back to Roblox Studio and paste this in. Okay. And then we can also do local marketplace service is equal to game get service marketplace service. Okay. And then we can do local player service. So local PS equals game get service players. Right. And we'll do PS dot player added connect function. And now this is going to check if they actually have the game pass. So local owns game pass equals MS. And I think it's like game pass or user owns game pass to sync. And then we need to do the user ID. So the player up here. Player.user ID. And then game pass ID. And then it returns true. So if owns game pass then print player.name owns game pass okay and then to test that out we can try that and as you can see it says we own the game pass because we're the ones who made it and also if we just go here as you can see it says we own it so that is working and we can do else print player.name does int own game pass okay and then if they own the game pass we're going to do the stuff so local character equals player.character and then local um, humanoid equals character.humanoid or character driver shot humanoid actually we'll do wait for child humanoid Okay, and then what we can do is, as you can see, if we just press play here, and we go to workspace, and we go to ourself, and go to like all this stuff, we're going to change body height scale and body width scale up, so uh, if we just change that right now, in the server, of course, we go to humanoid, and then body height scale, change that to 2. Then head scale to actually, I think that's supposed to be at one point two, and then body width scale to two. Actually, we'll change that like one point five. That makes sense. Body depth scale one point five also, and now it's a little bit more normal. We changed it to two. It's still bad for that one, but. 
think 1.5 would be good. So what we're gonna do is just double all of these actually. So is equal to uh, or times equal 1.5. So if we only game pass it, scales us up. So we did get an issue. Attempt to index no. So we can do repeat wait until character and now we press play so we do own the game pass and I think what we gotta do here is you player.character added wait or player.character there we go and now as you can see we did get bigger so that is a thing and to prove that we did get bigger, as you can see, we're going a little bit slower. And to prove it, I'm just going to uh, local GUI plus script parent, local button equals GUI dot prompt game pass, and then button uh, actually do local and the game pass ID. So local game pass ID equals that. And then local player equals game dot players dot local player. So we're going to do button dot activated connect function, and then player or actually we need a marketplace service also. So local ms equals game get service marketplace service. And we'll do ms dot prompt game pass purchase or I think it's just prompt uh, purchase or game pass. Um, prompt game pass purchase. Here it is, and then we're gonna do player, and then we're gonna do game pass ID, and that's it. So now, if we press play, bigger, uh, you already own this item, your account has not been charged, so it works. Um, and then we can also make sure uh, we're gonna do ms, or we're gonna do player. You know, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do um, if ms and then get player own or get owns game pass dot. I forget what it was. Player owns asset. If ms. Let's just go back to the script because we had it. User owns okay. User owns game pass as sync and then player dot user ID and then game pass ID equals to true. Then button dot visible equals false. So now if you own the game pass it gets rid of the button. But if you don't then it doesn't. Okay? So now we have a working game pass button along with the game pass script and along with the game pass prompt. Um, now this is pretty simple. Now I know it seems a little bit complicated if you're new to Roblox Studio and you're looking at this, but it's actually not that complicated. Um, this is really all that like was complicated about it, or like the testing if they have a, a game pass, but it's really simple. Um, if you do it yourself, you'll definitely get it. Also, if you're trying to learn more at Roblox Studio, then I do recommend you actually write these scripts out because um, it really does actually help you learn what everything does and how to use the syntax in Roblox Studio. Uh, if you just copy scripts, you will be able to make games, but you're not gonna learn anything. So I do recommend just copying the script, or not copying the scripts, but if you guys wanna do that, I'm still gonna leave it in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.